and welcome to my channel so excited for you to join me today you'll have to excuse how I look I'm looking a little crazy I came from the gym and I was just like you know what I haven't made a YouTube video in a while or in a few weeks at least and then somebody had actually um, DM'd me on Instagram and asked me how my YouTube channel is going and I was like you know what I think I'm gonna make a video so this is really off the cuff you know kind of random but I kind of just wanted to share about 2018 um, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I mean, I think I told you guys before I kind of created this channel just to, you know, have hope for myself at times and just, you know, be faithful to teach God's word or do something toward what I felt like God was wanting me to do. So things have been so busy lately, which is a really good thing. You know, a lot of things I've been praying for and seeking God for are actually like coming into manifestation, which is amazing. But I haven't had much time to do YouTube. And then, you know, the holidays gets really crazy too. So I hope you guys had a good holiday season as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's kind of been going on with me as far as not being able to upload. Um, and yeah, I just kind of wanted to share about 2018, what my plans are, what, you know, just on a personal level. Again, I'm kind of, I don't really know what to do with my YouTube channel. I'm kind of just doing vlog styles for now because that's all I really have time to do at this time so but I really just want to thank you guys for watching my videos I mean some of you guys I know you and some of you guys I don't um, but I'm just thankful I'm just so thankful that anybody would get anything out of them like I, sometimes I just stop and I just want like just wonder you know that people even watch it you know so I'm so thankful that you guys get something out of it and ultimately it's really not for me you know to get anything out of it it's really I, I just want um God to touch people in any way shape or form you know and I'm learning and have learned but I feel like I'm learning it again that I really can't make anything happen or do anything you know in my own power my own ability so you know if God touches anybody that's his doing it's not my doing you know so but anyways Thank you guys for watching and watching my now vlog videos. So, um, so I just kind of wanted to share a little about a, a little, well, a little bit about my 2018 and like um, kind of what what's going on with me. So, just like a recap, honesty, you know, 2016 was like chaos. I actually I recorded a video before this one. And I shared a really cool story in there, so maybe I'll share it again. But the video, was just, it just got cut off when I was editing it. And iMovie, it was too, like, down. So I, I'm just doing it again. <laughs> but anyways. Um, so, uh, yeah, 2016 was, like, a really crazy year. I don't know if you've ever had, like, things totally unexpected happen in your life. And your life gets flipped upside down. And you did not expect those things to occur or happen and you kind of have to start life all over again. You have to reframe how you see everything. You know, it's just, it's a little crazy. You know, I don't know if you ever experienced that. It's kind of extreme, but um, hopefully you never do, you know. But if you do, maybe this will help you in that time. So, yeah, so 2016 was like totally crazy. Like my world's falling apart, you know. Uh, I had shared this story in my last when I made this video first, but it came out really bad. Um, that, you know, when I was younger, we went to Galveston, my family and some family friends. And we wanted to go out and swim in the big waves, you know, out in the ocean. And we just wanted to go and catch, you know, when you're when you're young, maybe you are young watching this, I don't know. But, you know, you want to go and you want to be where the adventure's at. You want to be where it's at, you know. So we were like, hey, the adventure is out in the ocean. We're not scared of those big, bad waves. You know, we're going to go out them and we had like no parental supervision so we were just going you know and so we went out there and we started drowning we started drowning my sister me and a couple friends we started drowning so I remember like pushing my sister's head down and she was pushing my head down and we were just trying to stay breathing because the salt water was coming in and we weren't thinking about anything else but living and surviving and I remember internally I prayed like God please please save us you know don't let us die and then um I remember my friend, he was like, hey guys, put your feet on the ground, you can touch the ground. And I was thinking, no, we're out, we're so deep, like we, we cannot touch the ground, you know, like we're past that point, you know. But I remember just thinking like, well, let me just try it, let me just try it. So I, sure enough, I, I tried to put my feet on the ground and was able to touch the ground. And we were able to walk back to shore. I'm telling you, it was, it was a miracle, but that's not the point of the story. But anyways, thank you, Lord. That was awesome. But, you know... 
Uh, that's kind of how my 2016 felt like I was drowning. And then 2017 was kind of like, okay, a little bit more stability. I'm able to, I can touch the ground. Life's not over. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be bad forever. It's okay, you know? And ultimately I had to really regroup and go back to the basics and just, you know, just to encourage you, if ever you feel like your life is just falling apart, just go back to the basics, go to church, you know, um, pray, read your Bible, do basic things. It doesn't have to be this big old grandiose thing, you know? So that helped me. Hopefully that helps somebody if you're going through something. Uh, another thing that helped me was just kind of like taking it one day at a time. You know, there's a scripture that says tomorrow has enough troubles of its own, you know, but no, today has enough troubles of its own. Sorry. Um, like, don't worry about tomorrow, you know? And so that's really kind of what I had to do is like, you know, I couldn't worry about tomorrow and where's my life going and, and what did I do and what, what was, what was done and, and, you know, trying for so many months, I was trying to figure out everything in my mind and that's just impossible. Sometimes we don't know why things happen or, you know, we could never see it coming, you know, but it happened, you know? Um, but we don't have to live in the past and just like dig through old files and try to figure it out. The good news is God says, you know, he works all things together for the good of those who love him and who are called according to his purposes. So even if you've made mistakes or mistakes were done, wrongs were done against you, it doesn't matter if you love him and you're called according to his purposes and you seek him first. I mean, he's going to work all those things out for our good, you know? So anyways, so that was pretty much like, what happened, you know, God started working things out. God's, it, it was okay. I got stable. And so in 2018, I'm just so excited to just really move forward and build, you know, on whatever God has, you know, he's brought so many new things in my life in 2017. And, and, you know, there were some periods where I just felt like I'm just barely hanging on, like I'm barely hanging on to my faith. I'm barely hanging on but sometimes that barely hanging on is what's going to get you through. You know, it's what's going to get you through. So don't give up. That's why the Bible says, you know, don't give up. You know, the, the race is not to the swift or to the strong, but to he that endures till the end. So sometimes we just have to endure till the end, you know. So, you know, hopefully that's for somebody. And so, yeah, so 2018, I'm so excited. And this is the part that I did want to share with you guys is um, I did like on New Year's Eve, I kind of had like a time of prayer where I was kind of like, you know, seeking God and just kind of like, you know, seeking him for his will. And then, um, on New Year's day, I kind of took some time and wrote out like my goals, where I want to be, blah, blah. I've never been a New Year's resolution person like ever. Um, but I just felt like, you know, this scripture here, Proverbs twenty nine eighteen, where there is no vision, people perish, you know? So sometimes, you know, we can't see, we don't write the vision. There's another scripture that says, write the vision down, make it plain so that he that, um, reads it can run with it. Right. So, you know, sometimes we don't, we don't cast vision for ourselves for the future. You know, sometimes we don't, we don't, we don't write out the future and what, what we see, you know, where we see ourselves. So because of that, we don't have vision and we're not moving toward anything specific. And because we're not moving towards anything specific, the, but there's another scripture that says that, you know, without vision, people throw off restraint, you know, so we just stop caring. We just stop caring and we just kind of do whatever we want. Well, God intended us to live with purpose, live on purpose and to live for something bigger than ourselves, you know? So I just spent all day on um, New Year's Day and just like wrote out goals. Again, I've never been a New Year's resolutions person and I've been a part of like vision, but mainly in the aspect and context of like a business or a ministry or, you know, but never vision personally where I want to be spiritually, emotionally, physically, relationally, um, ministry wise for me or career wise, you know, maybe for you, I don't know, musically, whatever your gifts or your calling or your life is, I don't know. Um, you know, so I, I never did that personally for myself and I did it really detailed guys. Like I went detailed. Well, first of all, and I'm just sharing this cause maybe, I don't know if you've done this vision for 2018, but I just want to encourage you to do it. I mean, it's really my first time doing it. So we kind of do it together, you know? Um, but so what I did was I painted the overall picture of where do I want Teresa to be 2018, the end of 2018, December, 2018 about to cross into 2019 that's so weird then we'll be in 2020 um oh that's so cool 2020 vision but anyways um you know where do I want to see Teresa at the end of 2018 you know and I just I could see it I'm like I knew exactly where I wanted to be spiritually emotionally relationally physically I, I could just see the person that I wanted to be you know and of course this is with the intent of 
doing the will of God. This is not just, oh, I just want to be awesome for me. Like, no, I want to do what God wants me to do, you know, with my life. And I'm excited about it. So I wrote it out. I wrote down that big vision and then I broke it down. Like, what is it going to take to get there? What are you going to do? Blah, blah, blah. It, guys, it took like all day. Like I was at Starbucks and then I came home to like clean my house and stuff. And then I went back to Starbucks. So I was, I mean, I'm not saying you have to do all that. So it's kind of extreme. But I really want to, and I know it's possible, you know, if we commit our ways to the Lord, you know, he's going to direct us and he's going to give us that, you know, grace to do it. So anyways, I just kind of want to encourage you to do that, um, to cast a vision for yourself for 2018, see yourself where you want to be spiritually, emotionally, physically, uh, whatever your personal goals are, your personal aspirations are you know write it out you know make it plain like the bible says cast a vision for your future and commit your ways to the lord so um last thing so what i did was i after i wrote it all on my ipad i just spent some time in worship and prayer and i just dedicated it to the lord i said lord if there's anything in here that is not your will you know please show me and if you know not and you're pleased with this you know then you know just bless it i dedicate this year to you and i just ask you to have your way you know so i just want to encourage you to start the year off giving it to God, that's the best way to do it, you know, so um, just kind of wanted to share kind of what I did, hopefully it helps out, it was my first year doing it, so I can't be like, oh, I know this is going to work, like, I don't know, but uh, something, you know, so anyways, uh, love you guys, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for being a part of my channel, I really appreciate it, and I know there's, it's not like a huge, big channel, and I'm just thankful that you're watching, and I just pray that as I continue to grow and move forward and whatever God's will, you know, be, you know, that it would be done in your life, in my life, and that we would just grow on this journey in God together. And you're not alone. You know, um, you have a body of Christ. If you're feeling alone, go to church, you know, message me on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and, you know, and get with somebody in prayer, ask somebody to pray for you. Just, you know, it's random, but you know, the best thing to do is surround yourself with Christian people. If you're feeling alone, you know, please don't feel alone. The Bible says we're, we're designed to be with the body of Christ. So that was really random. So that must have been for somebody. But anyways, love you guys. I don't even know I have my Bible open. I didn't even read it. But thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Happy 2018. Bye.